but all of us when we read we need to find that jesus is the word of god and the truth and therefore everything needs to be interpreted through our relationship with him and who he leads us to to the father and with the spirit of truth therefore the more you know god the easier it is to measure that which is written and does it align with the heart of god does it align with love because you know love you know unconditional love therefore when the bible says something that doesn't measure against unconditional love that's what i use as my measure stick i don't try and figure out what it was trying to say or who was trying to say it i just measure it through love and to be honest i don't read the bible anymore for my personal relationship with god at all you know that's not the way i function in that way i talk to god i have a relationship with him i have a relationship with jesus the word of god and in that relationship that reveals the truth to me that i need to know at any point in time and when we read the bible we have to read it in the light of jesus jesus is the fulfillment of all in the old testament now some of the things in the old testament are allegorical they're symbolic they're meant to convey a message they're not supposed to be taken literally obviously some of it's poetry you know not supposed to be taken all as a literal account of what happened but something that can be used to illustrate something in the spirit in our life which can help and the holy spirit can take us into all sorts of deeper levels of that if chooses but I don't read the Bible for that. I engage with God and I talk to him and I have a relationship with him. I use the Bible a lot in reference with other people because other people need that reference point. So I talk about the differences and how the Bible might not say what they thought it said and the translation or the interpretation of it has come through often confirmation or bias. And it's very difficult. And we've got 40,000 denominations all quoting the Bible as their source of truth and all disagreeing with them each other. So it's not a good place to start. The truth, Jesus is. I don't believe God ever intended us to have the Bible as in its current form to try and uh, get understanding of God through that book when we have understanding of God through Jesus, uh, the Spirit and the Father in relationship so ultimately as we get closer and more intimate we find that the father will lead us and to knowing his heart showing us his intentions and then we'll just outwork his intentions every day without needing to use the bible it isn't infallible because it isn't the word of god it contains some words that god said and it contains some words that people said god said and weren't the things that god said so i think ultimately the bible didn't exist when you know paul wrote to timothy and talked about in 2 timothy 3 16 that all scripture or all inspired writings are useful for well that's absolutely true all inspired writings are useful for the things that they were intended for but that doesn't mean that the bible which wasn't written in it that form at that time was what it was talking about that's a that's a, a mistake isn't true that was 300 years or more before they actually produced a bible um, so ultimately it doesn't say it's inerrant infallible it's a lot a lot of people writing their experiences of god from their perspective were they inspired well maybe they were but that doesn't mean that there was a quoted dictation of what god wanted said and over the years the old testament wasn't even written to christians wasn't even written in the context of the new testament jesus came to fulfill the law and the prophets so i think we need to focus on jesus focus on the truth allow him to lead us direct us every day um, so that we don't need to start with the word of god if anyone came into a relationship with god today i would not give them a bible or encourage them to read it if god asks them to get a bible and read it that's a different matter but it's the conditioning of church you must have a bible you must read every day you must pray every day you must get to know god well spend time with him jesus didn't say my sheep will read my book jesus said my sheep will hear my voice so let's focus on the relationship of hearing his voice and therefore we won't get caught up in things that we need uh, don't need really there's there's we can be guided by the spirit we don't need a book to guide us in the transition that they were going through in that period where the gentiles were were entering in one new man in christ that whole dimension they needed help to understand what was happening why were they being persecuted what was going on 
is Jesus going to help us? Which is what Paul did. And also in terms of they didn't understand, they needed a lot of help in understanding um, to help them come to that place of relationship and rest. And Paul gave them letters, but he didn't want to, us to be reading those letters today to try and figure out what he was saying to us today because he wasn't saying it to us today. Now, of course, there's truth in there, which is universal truth, which is wonderful. And from that perspective, you know, if, if God inspires you to read it, let him interpret it for you. But let love be the key that gives you the overall framework for it. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.